I'm about to uh, I'm about to end my stream in probably an hour and made me go back to the time when I was able to um, do a 24 hour stream three times it felt satisfying but deep down inside uh, I felt it never never got any value from the marketplace from um, from the Twitch audience and rightfully so because all I did was show everybody how I sleep uh, and of course how, how I review animes how an anime review is made okay but um, probably 40 per, probably um, 60% of the time 60% of that uh, of the entire stream had no value that's how that's how, that's how I feel about it right now and so yeah come the new year uh, when I formulated my stream sket on Twitch I figured I'm not gonna do this anymore I'm not gonna do uh, 24 hour streams 24 plus hour streams anymore because it just fed my ego right nobody gets paid based on their ego actually so I won't get paid because of this YouTube what am I saying I realized personally that the longer you stream the um, the value of that the value of the resulting video goes down right no matter what it is, whether it is um, whether it is an, an IRL vlog or um, a Q and or a Q a full a full Q a full blown Q and A or even um, or even a concert, right? Or even a concert, because well, I feel that that um, long streams would would eventually be boring to viewers. They would. They would skip out. They would skip the rest of your video for another for another one. Oops, sorry. They would even well. They would even rant you. Some some toxic uh, viewers would even rant you for it. Okay. So here's my power tip for you, YouTube. If you want more value out of the stream, out of your stream, whether it be on. Twitch, YouTube, or any other streaming platform. Try to make it as short as possible. Okay. Because the longer you stream, um, the lower its value becomes. I'm in the middle of my stream right now. And then I um, made a quick uh, made a quick trip, quick side trip to Instagram, and I saw this quote by John D. Rockefeller. You know what? The founder of Standard Oil um, is right about that. Okay, if you've been um, sticking your ass out. For your uh, for your dream job, I hate to break it to you, boy. I hate to break it to you, girl. I hate to break it to you, but you're putting all your efforts on uh, on the wrong go on the wrong gold mine. On the wrong gold mine. If you allot 100% of your time. Or, or at least 90% of it to your, to your to your work, to your profession, to your, to even your brand or your business. Well, 
your chances of making real money is going from slim to none. It's a hard fact, okay? So accept it. No one has ever grown a lot of wealth from being gainful from being gainfully employed all their lives. By the time they uh, by the time they retire, they will be too old to build their wealth. You will be too old to build their to build your own wealth. And all those years that you have uh, given your time and effort to your work, you have made someone else rich. Can't accept that fact? Then don't watch this video anymore. So here's a power tip for you, LinkedIn. <clears throat> work should only be 50% of your legacy. Legacies are not built on gainful employment. I just um, saw this um, quote on Instagram by Robert Louis Stevenson. I read it again just now. And I thought, wow. He's spot on with that quote. The author of The Strange Case of Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde and, well, uh, an all-time children's favorite, Treasure Island. He was he was right on that. Okay. Because, well, short-term thinkers have this kind of weakness wherein um, they're they're only um, they're only concerned about the rewards um, of for their for their time, for their efforts. They don't care about how how many seeds or what kind of seeds they plant along the way. For most people, uh, for some people actually, uh, particularly me, the seeds I plant are more important than uh, the rewards I get right now. Right? Because, well, content creation is not all about getting instant rewards okay? instant gratification content creation is more it's more about delayed gratification right let's say delayed gratification okay you, you don't want the delay in your gratification but how long can you guarantee yourself of those kinds of rewards those those, those instant rewards you're getting right now how long can, can you guarantee that those instant rewards will constantly come in? No. Okay. When it comes to um, when, it, when it comes to life in general, nothing is um, nothing is permanent. As they say, the only thing permanent is change. Something might happen, or circumstances may. Uh, may get either better or worse like well we're in a pandemic right now these are pure circumstances now thinking about the immediate rewards is out of the question these days so robert louis stevenson's quote is so relevant okay it is highly relevant right now here's a power tip for you instagram <clears throat> Planting seeds works in your favor long term than the immediate rewards. So, do your stuff without ever thinking of the rewards yet, right? It is much easier and much uh, makes you more productive that way, okay? So, in short, the seeds you plant now will reap the rewards later. Um, I'm, I'm watching Grave of the Fireflies right now. It's, uh, 
It's a classic anime movie uh, that I've really wanted to watch for, for decades now. <laughs> really wanted to watch for decades now. But the reason for this entry is, well, I'm going to, I would like to make a, um, a very crucial announcement to you guys because, well, as of late, I haven't been consistent with putting out a weekly digest for the Vertical Diaries. Okay, you may have noticed, you may have noticed it in my last two. You may have noticed it in my last two. And right now, um, nope, it's sort of taking a toll on my, uh, on my body. Um... Uh, after now, I'm still feeling uh, what you call this. My uh, my legs are feeling crampy right now. Uh, I've been feeling this all day ever since we got home from the supermarket. Because uh, uh, I'm the errand boy. I'm the errand boy of the family. <laughs> okay. So here's what we're gonna do for the diaries. Every first and third Sunday of the month, you can expect a new digest from me. Right, so it won't be a weekly thing anymore because, um, well, my time has been eaten up by my uh, by my hobbies and passions. Okay, but don't get me wrong, guys. Don't get me wrong. If everything if everything goes um, if everything goes back to normal, yeah, uh, you can still book me for um, for consultations for. Um, advisory calls okay right now I'm uh, I just couldn't uh, I just couldn't uh, offer it to anybody because uh, I really need I really need it to be a one-on-one one-on-one -on -one, one -on -one thing okay siempre COVID okay medyo ako pa ako I'm not that uh, I'm not that young anymore so I really need to watch out for it I really need to watch out for this disease so again uh a new digest will now be um, will now be will now be out every first and third Sunday of the month, All right? So that gives me time to um, gather enough uh, diaries entries to um, to compile it into a really uh, really uh, to a considerably large digest for you guys to well for you guys to. Uh, for your guys, for you, for your brains to digest, right? Kasi alam kong, uh, I feel, I feel na nabibiting kayo sa tatlo, apat lang eh. So, um, don't, but don't worry. Uh, my brain is not that, um, my brain is not that lazy yet. I can still pull out uh, diaries entries. I just changed the, um, the frequency of the, the frequency of the digest. And, we're going to name, uh, we're going to rename the weekly digest. It's no longer called that. It'll now be the vertical diaries in digest. Okay, so I may have to uh, I may have to uh, revise the B-roll for that. I may have to revise the B-roll for that. All right. So there you have it. Um, um, don't expect the. Um, the weekly digest of the diaries to be on a, to be a weekly basis anymore. Nope, I won't do that anymore. It'll now be every first and third Sunday of the month. All right. So I'm gonna go watch this anime movie now, and I'll see you right here for the new digest. I just uh, finished uh, watching *Grave of the Fireflies*, that classic by Studio Ghibli. September twenty first, nineteen forty five. That was the night I died. And um, one of the saddest movies I have ever uh, I have ever seen, right? And to think it's an anime movie. No wonder it's um, no wonder longtime anime fans uh, like me consider it a classic, because just goes to show you how how ugly war is, um, how war can uh, produce empathy. Ah, uh, empathy. Um, what you call this? Not empathy. Um, 
apathy. All right. Um, the adults here were, were were absolutely apathetic to to the two kids, uh, the two lead characters. Um, imbis na tulungan nila ng buong puso nila, uh, they would still um, they would still they would um, they would still prioritize themselves. All right. The adults here um, showed uh, behaved pretty badly okay, in front of these kids. In times of crisis, all right, you, we gotta we gotta band together. We we should exp we should uh, show empathy. All right, come on. These are just kids, right? Ano na sa sa crisis sa crisis, right? What do they know about war? This is the lesson I learned from uh, from this movie. Telegram, here is a power tip for you. Crisis or no crisis, there should be empathy. Right? Empathy is, the, um, is an empowering uh, is an empowering trait. Okay. It um brings out the best in a human being it never brings out the worst right but apathy does it's uh it's counter behavior you know what apathy can only um, can only take you so far in times of crisis okay? like in in grave of the fireflies they were um it was set in uh, 1945 japan so the Japanese surrendered to the Allies because uh, constant bombing and, of course, um, the two atomic bombs that were dropped. All right. Sometimes you have to um, you have to show empathy, not just to kids, but to basically people in need. Don't uh, don't be selfish in times of crisis. You anybody doesn't need that selfishness. You don't need to step up. You just have to be empathic. Right? So again, Telegram, crisis or no crisis, be empathic.